Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover how to configure Serlet using annotation. Uh, this annotation feature is supported by uh, Serlet 3. Okay, and uh, suppose if you want to configure uh, Serlet, what we used to do is we used to configure the Serlet in the uh, web.xml file that is nothing but a deployment descriptor, right? Uh, but if you use uh, this annotation uh, feature, then we no need to configure uh, Serlet in the web.xml file. What we can do is we can use the at web servlet annotation. Okay, so using this uh, annotation, we can map uh, specified uh, name to the particular uh, servlet. Okay, and uh, uh, suppose uh, if we develop uh, uh, servlet uh, with uh, annotation, then uh, we have to deploy uh, that particular uh, servlet in the uh, Tomcat 7 and above version. Okay. Uh, because uh, uh, below version of uh, Tomcat 7 won't support uh, annotation based uh, servlet. Okay, so if you are using uh, annotation based servlet, it should be deployed uh, Tomcat 7 or above version of uh, Tomcat 7. Okay, uh, I will show you one sample code uh, so that you will understand uh, this one very clearly. Okay. Uh, to explain annotation based servlet, I have created the project called annotation servlet demo. Uh, so in that project, I have created a hello servlet class which extends HTTP servlet and it has uh, init method. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet and it has do get method. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to process the request and here uh, what I am doing is I am uh, uh, printing hello servlet in the browser okay and uh, it has a destroy method this method will be called by the servlet container to remove this uh, servlet from the service okay and uh, if you see this one uh, i didn't define any web.xml okay so in webinf folder i don't have any web.xml okay uh, because uh, servlet i am configuring using the annotation uh, based okay so if you see this one, I have defined at web servlet, okay, and uh, this is the uh, URL pattern hello, okay. So if uh, URL pattern is hello, then uh, automatically container will uh, uh, initialize this hello servlet and uh, it will call uh, do get method to process the request, okay. So I no need to define any uh, web.xml and uh, in that web.xml I no need to configure the servlet if I am using the annotation uh, way okay uh, so what I will do is I will uh, deploy this uh, uh, web application uh, in Tomcat server and I will show you the output okay so first I am building the project then uh, export as a war file and place inside the uh, Tomcat web apps folder Then I am going to start the server. The server has been uh, started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL. I am clicking on enter. Uh, so it is displaying uh, index.html content. Index.html is nothing but a welcome page. So in that uh, index.html uh, we defined uh, submit button once you click on submit button uh, it will send request to the server and the url pattern is hello okay so i'm clicking on submit uh, the request went to the server and the url pattern is hello okay so uh, servlet container will uh, check uh, for this url pattern what is the corresponding servlet so the url pattern hello we defined uh, hello servlet okay so the servlet container will initialize this uh, hello servlet uh, then the servlet container will call the do get method to process the request. Uh, so the request comes to the do get method, and uh, here what we are doing is uh, we are just writing hello servlet uh, in the browser. Okay, so you can see the output. Okay, so uh, by this way we can uh, configure uh, servlet using annotation. Okay, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.